Okay, so the menu we're doing today is the same as last Wednesday, yeah? But better. And you lot are the heart of the clink, all right? All the food that comes out of there, you're gonna cook. The, the people that come in here are gonna judge us on the waiters, how they behave, how polite they are, how professional they are. And then they're also gonna judge us on the quality of the food. All right, I don't want anyone coming here saying, it was good considering they were prisoners. Clink's is a high quality restaurant. The reason behind it is to give prisoners a really good level of training in preparation and cooking of food, serving of food, and to also to invite employers and the mem members of the public into the restaurant so we can one, create job opportunities, but to also change the public's perception of prisoners. We start as we mean to go on. We've got to be smart all times, so I need you buttoned up. Today we focus on the opening of the clink, what you've been training for for a month. So enjoy it, be professional, one plate at a time, slowly but proper, yeah? Clink Cymru is our second restaurant and it, it's nice to see the clink model evolve from those humble days when Al had an idea when he was uh, in the main prison kitchen in High Down. I think we're offering a unique experience. I would like to think that we're educating the customer. We're changing their perception of prisoners. The majority of them are like you and I. They're a cross-section of society. They need to be given a second chance. So by allowing the customers to come in and dine in the restaurant, interact with the prisoners in training, I would like to think that we're changing their perception of prisoners. We're also giving, helping the prisoners gain social skills. They're meeting all walks of life coming through our doors, from members of the royal family down to the man off the street. And it's a great exposure for them and a great education. We're going to roast these, yeah. and then we're going to blitz it up, add with some, some olive oil, salt and pepper, for a little garnish on the top. Uh, we, we, we've been practicing for a month, so, so we're not too nervous. The pressure is on, on us, though. The perform. It's a big day, isn't it? You know, we're doing a salad bar for the starters to go out. First course, you know. That's kind of alright at the moment, yeah. It's my first time ever in a proper job, so it's a good experience. So it's all worth it at the end. We teach them to work in a team, how to, to take instructions, and then they get a certificate, and then we mentor them when they're released, you know, contact them weekly or maybe fortnightly for six months, and just make sure that, you know, they've, they've got the support they need. They, they have to have a job interview, obviously, and they maybe will have a trial with a hotel or a restaurant. But I'm confident that you know they'll have the ability to, to hold down a job. You know, it's hopefully going to change their lives and then the lives of their wives, their children, their mum, their dad. It dramatically reduces reoffending rates. Our reoffending rate for the last two years is around 10% compared to the national average of 47% of all people that leave prison reoffend within the first year. Now we've got the beef skirt here. We need to season it a bit. I knew already. We've got to season it up a bit more. Another hour, I think, yeah. I reckon. But it's very tender. Because food like this, you, you don't find it in normal restaurants sometimes. But to find it here, really, attention to the detail and so on. Most important thing that the composition of the meal was very good. Uh, not too heavy, not too uh, bombastic. Down to us with good ingredients. What do you want more? As ambassador for the Clink Cardiff, I'm sort of contributing sort of dishes to the menus. and. When I saw the menus, I thought I'd, sort of really thought I'd have to up my game a little bit, you know, because I've got to be honest here, they're very, very impressive. The guys are going to benefit greatly from this because really it's going to give them, you know, a, a new set of skills because obviously, you know, this industry is always evolving, always moving on. They're working with new types of equipment, new sort of procedures and, and techniques. So they'll get to learn all of those. They're working with quality produce. This will be a great launching pad for them to have worked here, to have had something that has got such a great sort of stamp of, of quality on it to put them back into this industry, you know, and I would seriously consider, you know, taking, you know, taking someone on in my establishment. The first 10 goat cheese going now. Yes, Next 10, let's go. Well, we need to speed it up, boys. 10 more. Okay, we got any more, boys? Look, we'll just keep coming. People outside expect prisoners to work a proper working day. They expect them to get up in the morning and go to work, just like the rest of us have to. And that's important. They also want to see that reduction in reoffending, and if we can get both of those things from projects like this, that's very desirable and we want to see more of it. I think the evidence from where it's already happening is very positive, and I think if we look at the rates of reoffending that are being carried through from those who've done that, 
We hope to see it replicated here and then replicated across the country wherever else Clink can set themselves up. So I'm hugely impressed and I hope we'll see more of it. Let's go. I was originally at the Clink in Sutton. Um, I started working there last year. I managed to get a job at the Lancaster London Hotel, which is a four-star hotel. So I've been in pastry, I've, I've been in room service, I've been in a, a la carte to AA Rosette restaurant, and it's helped me with my family life, my personal life as well. So, And I couldn't have done this without a clink. Once you accept in your mind that you're wrong and you're trying to change, you're halfway there. It is a mental thing. You, know, and you have to get your head around a mindset to say, look, I've made a mistake. You've got two ways this can go. You can either come back out and do exactly what you were doing before, or you can make a change in your life and move on. Four, five, go. PK, move. Five, one, two, three. Quicker, go around the other side. So, now they're cooking. We've got to plate it up. You know, the other one, one was plated up. And then the next one is more intricate. And then dessert is more. So it's all part of the plan, a slow build up. A big finale, hopefully. Well, I've been a supporter of the clinic from the beginning, so I've kind of I'm quite used to the incredibly high levels of, of professionalism now. But yeah, the first, I mean, I remember coming for the first time, and it blew my mind. I, I couldn't believe anything like this could exist in a prison with guys who had no previous experience, uh, and yet, you know, after a couple of weeks of training, they are up to the very high standards of silver service. These guys have gone on an amazing journey, and it's the exciting thing is it's I, I'm lucky enough to sort of witness it at various stages of that journey, from building sites to the guys coming in for the first day, and now, you know putting on a massive event like this, it's incredible. The Clink is the best model for pre prison rehabilitation out there at the moment. It's, uh, it works, it's cost effective, it prevents crime and it prevents more victims. It's just awesome. And you get a good meal. So we've got a trio of blackberry desserts, blackberries forage from the farm, a blackberry sorbet, they've put that on a macaroon base. They've done a apple and blackberry crumble with fresh custard and a blackberry tart, all made this morning. In the end, we will work together and we, we, got, we got the job done. I think it's a, full, it's a full house tomorrow again, so... But this time it's going to be more complicated because it's not a one set meal. Tomorrow is just different, different, different orders, isn't it? So, spring on tomorrow. That's what I was waiting for, tomorrow. All I'm looking for is somebody who's serious and, and motivated and just wants to stay out of prison, you know, have a normal life. <laughs>